Hello, everyone, and happy St. Patrick's Day from the American Banjo Museum in Oklahoma City. My name is Johnny Byer. It is a delight to be with you again this year, if only virtually. Uh, I'd love to see a room full of people here ready to sing some Irish favorites. But seeing as that's not the case, we're going to send some Irish cheer right out to your homes today. My first St. Patrick's Day as a banjo player happened back in 1972. I was working at Shakey's Pizza Parlor in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, where if you're not aware, Oshkosh was one of the two world's favorite party spots for St. Patrick's Day back in the 1970s. The owner of Shakey's came up to me a couple of weeks before St. Patrick's Day, and he said, you better learn the Irish songs for St. Patrick's Day. So I went home, I asked my dad, what song should I learn? He had the perfect record in mind. He pulled out this LP recording of Bing Crosby called Shillelaghs and Shamrocks. And in his opinion, had every Irish song I needed to learn. So I sat in my bedroom and I learned every song on Shillelaghs and Shamrocks. And a couple days before St. Patrick's Day, I went in and played them for the guy from Shakey's. And he said, what? are those songs. I meant Irish songs, songs that people can sing. So uh, we're going to do for you a little bit of a combination of some of the obscure Irish things that were included on Bing Crosby's first St. Patrick's Day album back in 1945, and then some of the songs you'd all recognize. Off of the improved and approved Shakey's St. Patrick's Day sing-along list, the next song we're going to open with was the only thing that the owner from Shakey's had ever heard before from Bing Crosby, Shillelagh and Shamrock's record. So here we go with McNamara's Band. Hello, my name is McNamara, I'm the leader of the band. Although we're few in number, we're the best band in the land. We play at wakes and weddings and at every fancy ball. When we play the funerals, we play the march from Saul. But well, the drums go bang, the cymbals climb, the horns they blaze away. McCarthy pumps the old bassoon while by the pipes can play. And Hennessy, Tennessee tunes the flute and the music is something grand. A credit to old Ireland is back to Mara's band. La da da da, la da da da. Oh, my name is Uncle Julius, and from Sweden I did come to play with McNamara's band and beat the big bass drum. And when I march along the street, the ladies think I'm grand. They shout, that's Uncle Julius, playing with an Irish band. Well, I wear a bunch of shamrocks, a uniform of green. I am the funniest looking speed that you have ever seen. There are O'Briens and Lions and Sheans and Beans, they come from Ireland. By Yemeni, I'm the only speed in McNamara's band. For the drums go bang, the cymbals clang, the horns they blaze away. McCarthy pumps the old bassoon while I the pipes can play. And Hennessy, Tennessee toodles the flute, music is something grand. A credit to old Ireland is McNamara's band. Da 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 da, da 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 da, da 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 da. Rehearsing for a very swell affair. The annual celebration, all the gentry will be there. When General Grant to Ireland came, he took me by the hand. Says he, I never saw the likes of McNamara's band. Well, the drums go bang, the cymbals clang, the horns they blaze away. McCarthy pumps the old bassoon while I the pipes do play. And Hennessy, Tennessee toodles the flute, music is something grand. A credit to old Ireland is McNamara's band. La -la -la -la.
A recurring theme throughout this show is going to be Bing Crosby. When I heard Bing Crosby singing all these wonderful old Irish songs, when I was just about 15 years old and starting to play the banjo, I was hooked on Irish songs. And then later on I found out a lot of people in Ireland don't really think of Bing Crosby songs as really being Irish. And I understand because they don't sing songs like this too much in Ireland anymore. But this song really has an Irish history. It goes back to 1913 and, of course, was popularized in 1942 when Bing Crosby sang it to Barry Fitzgerald in Going My Way. It's called Tura Lura Lura, an Irish lullaby. And I've got it in a little medley of other Irish songs that really are Irish. We're gonna be, you're going to be hearing uh, When Irish Eyes Are Smiling and My Wild Irish Rose and Molly Malone, all songs made popular by Chauncey Olcott, who really was an American actor, songwriter, and singer, but he had the spirit of Irish America. But we're going to start this little medley off with Bing Crosby and the memory of an Irish lullaby. Over in Killarney, many years ago, my mother sang a song to me in tones so soft and low. Just a simple little ditty in her good old Irish way. And I'd give the world if I could hear that song of hers today. Sweet Molly Malone 
She towed her wheelbarrow through streets dark and narrow, crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh. One of the songs off of Bing Crosby's 1942 St. Patrick's Day album, which introduced so many of these old Irish tunes to an American audience, was a song called Who Threw the Overalls in Mrs. Murphy's Chowder? Now, this would give the impression that the day Mrs. Murphy did her laundry, she also made soup in the same pot. And it was a comic novelty song that was written by George Geffer back in 1898. But in those days, it was written as Mistress Murphy's Chowder, not Mrs. Murphy's Chowder. So somewhere between 1898 and 1945, Mistress Murphy got married, but the pants were still in the soup. Let's have a little fun with Mrs. Murphy's Chowder. And Mrs. Murphy's chowder Nobody spoke So he shouted all the louder It's an Irish trick that's true I can lick them, make that through The overhauls in Mrs. Murphy's chowder Mrs. Murphy gave a party About a week ago Everything was plentiful Well, the Murphys, they're not slow They treated us like gentlemen We tried to act the same Only for what happened Well, it was an awful shame Mrs. Murphy dished the chowder out And fainted on the spot She found a pair of overalls At the bottom of the pot Tim Nolan, he got ripping mad His eyes were bulging out He jumped up on the piano And loudly he did shout Who threw the overalls in Mrs. Murphy's chowder? Nobody spoke, so he shouted all the louder. It's an Irish trick, that's true. I can lick them, lick that through. The overhauls in Mrs. Murphy's chowder. They dragged the pants from out the soup and laid them on the floor. Each man he swore upon his life he'd not seen them before. They were plastered up with mortar, were worn out at the knee. They had their many ups and downs as we could plainly see. When Mrs. Murphy, she came to, she starts to cry and pout. She'd had them in the wash that day, forgot to take them out. Jim Nolan, he excused himself for what he'd said that night. So we put music to the words and sung with all our might. Ho, oh, who threw the overalls in Mrs. Murphy's chowder? And nobody spoke, so he shouted all the louder. It's an Irish trick, that's true, I can lick them, lick that through. The overhauls in Mrs. Murphy's chowder. Who threw the overalls in Mrs. Murphy's chowder? Nobody spoke, so he shouted all the louder. It's an Irish trick, that's true. I can't lick them, lick that through. The overhauls in Mrs. Murphy's chowder. We're going to give Bing Crosby a well-deserved few minutes off here and go to one of my favorite Hollywood renditions of the Irish culture. Back in 1952, the legendary film director John Ford went to his ancestral home of Ireland where he filmed The Quiet Man, starring John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara and Barry Fitzgerald, Victor McLaughlin, and a wonderful cast of Irish performers. The Quiet Man really, to me, represents the joy of the Irish culture and the spirit of the Irish culture, especially as it's seen from America. When Victor Young created the wonderful musical score for The Quiet Man, I heard it and fell in love with the country and the music, and I'd like to play for you some of my favorite themes from The Quiet Man.
One of my favorite songs on the Shillelaghs and Shamrocks album by Bing Crosby was a song called Dear Old Donegal. It is a song about an Irish young man who goes to America to make his fame and fortune and returns to Ireland. Kind of the story of the quiet man, if you think about it. Its song is called Dear Old Donegal, but originally it was called Home to Donegal. And it is one of the most fun, loving, spirited Irish tunes I can think of. So let's take you home to Donegal. Three years ago this very day I left the port of Cork On a ship from old Erin's Isle I landed in New York Without a friend to meet me I was a stranger on the shore But I wore an honest Irish heart And fortune came galore So here I am back again On dear old Erin's Isle My friends they meet me on the quay And they greet me with a smile there's faces there I surely forgot I was so long away My mother, she'd introduce them all And this is what she'd say Shake hands with your uncle Mike, me boy Shake hands with your sister Kate uh, This is the girl you used to swing down on the garden gate Shake hands with all the neighbors And kiss the Colleen's all You're as welcome as the flowers in May To dear old Donegal They gave a party when I came back They came from near and far The road was lined for near a mile With Irish jaunty car And the whiskey flowed like buttermilk To fill our hearts with joy And the piper played an Irish reel To welcome the Yankee boy Tomorrow out to church I'll go And when it I will be to my sweet little Colleen, the Biddy McGee. For Biddy was true and faithful to her body all the sea. Tomorrow, Harp and Shamrock with the Stars of Liberty. Ah, there came Brannigan, Flanagan, Milligan, Gilligan, Duffy, McGuffy, Malarkey, Mahone, Rafferty, Lafferty, Donnelly, O'Connelly, Old Dooley, Old Holy, Muldoney, Malone, Madahan, Callaghan, Lanahan, Flanahan, Fagan, O'Hagan, O'Hulahan, Flynn, Shanahan, Manahan, Fogarty, Hogarty, Kelly, O'Skelly, McGinnis, McGinn. So shake the hand of your Uncle Mike, hand of your sister Kate. This is the girl you used to swing down on the garden gate. Shake hands with all the neighbors and kiss the Colleen's all. And you'll live content and pay no rent in tears. One of my favorite St. Patrick's Day memories goes back to the years when I would play at Rosie O'Grady's in Orlando, Florida. Where else would you want to play Irish music but a place called Rosie O'Grady's? And come St. Patrick's Day, it took on a new meaning. Church Street came alive with Irish music. One particular year, the Church Street brought in the Irish Rovers. This was the biggest band that ever came out of Ireland at the time, and they had a hit song that everybody wanted to hear. Now, the song we're going to do for you right now actually wasn't a song at all to start with. Back in 1962, a very popular popular songwriter and poet and entertainer named Shel Silverstein wrote this poem called The Unicorn. And when he recorded it, it got to the Irish Rovers and they took it and made it into a St. Patrick's Day classic. A long time ago when the earth was green, there were more kinds of animals than you've ever seen. Running around free while the earth was being born The loveliest of all was the unicorn There were green alligators and long neck geese Humpback camels and chimpanzees Cats and rats and elephants as sure as you're born The loveliest of all was the unicorn Now the Lord saw some sinning and it brought him pain he said, stand back, I'm gonna make it rain. He said, brother Noah, I'll tell you what you do. You can build me a floating zoo. And you get me two green alligators, two long neck geese, two humpback camels and two chimpanzees, two cats and rats, two elephants, and donors you're born. Noah, don't forget my unicorn. Now Noah was there, and he heeded the calling. He finished up the ark just as the rain started falling. 
He marched in the animals two by two And he called as they went through Hey Lord, I got your green alligators Your long neck geese Your humpback camels and your chimpanzees Your cats, your rats, your elephants Lord, I'm so full on I just don't see no unicorn Now Noah looked out through the driving rain the unicorns were hiding and playing silly games Kicking and a-slashing while the rain was pouring Behold those silly unicorns The ark started floating away with the tide And the unicorns looked up from the rocks and they cried The water came along and sort of floated them away That's why you'll never see a unicorn To this very day you'll see green alligators and long necks Humpty back camels and your chimpanzees Cats and rats and elephants as sure as you're born You're never gonna see no unicorn After World War II, America was in an Irish phase Every St. Patrick's Day, people would gather at parties And sing the wonderful Irish songs Celebrating that Irish culture that Hollywood preserves so well there was a real demand for some new tunes. Every St. Patrick's Day, somebody would come out with something that sounded Irish, even though it really never hit the shores of Ireland. This next song is one of those tunes, but it really has a wonderful Irish sentiment and identity. Burton Lane and Yip Harburg, Yip Harburg, the guy who wrote the lyrics to Somewhere Over the Rainbow, got together in 1949 and wrote a brand new Broadway show. It's called Finian's Rainbow. It included some songs that over the years sound so Irish that people think they are. This next one is one of them. It's one of my favorites. I love to hear it, especially from the 1968 film when Fred Astaire and Petula Clark reprise the story and this wonderful song.
When Bing Crosby's St. Patrick's Day album came out in 1942, it included a song called The Same Old Shillelagh My Father Brought From Ireland. When I heard that song, it was unnatural. I had to learn it because, if you're not aware, a shillelagh is an Irish walking stick. I brought one with me today, and this was my father's shillelagh, which he brought from a visit to Ireland. So when I heard that song, it was a natural for me to learn. And when you hear the line of the song that says, many's the time he used it on me to make me understand, this little shillelagh was used many a time to make me understand. But we're still good friends, and I'm glad he could share this day with you. My father's shillelagh. Fifty years ago, my father left old Aaron Shore. He landed here shillelagh in hand and devil a penny more. He got a job, then got a wife, and then a family. And then he died and left his old shillelagh stick to me. Sure, it's the same old shillelagh my father brought from Ireland. The devil a man was prouder than he as he walked with it in his hand. He'd lead the band on Paddy's day and twirl it round his mitts. The devil a bit, we'd laugh at it, for dad would have a fit. Sure, with the same old shillelagh my father could lick a dozen men. As fast as they'd get up, big Cora, he'd knock them down again. And many's the time he used it on me to make me understand The same old shillelagh my father brought from Ireland Well, I'm a-going on the police force, it's the only thing to do Instead of having one night stick, Bigora, I'll have two If there's a fight, I'll be all right, there's no one bothers me Because I have the old shillelagh my father gave to me Sure, it's the same old shillelagh my father brought from Ireland Devil the man was prouder than he as he walked with it in his hand. He'd lead the band on Paddy's day and twirl it round his mitts. And devil the bit, we'd laugh at it, for dad would have a bit. Show with the same old shillelagh, my father could lick a dozen men. As fast as they'd get up, big Gora, he'd knock them down again. And many's the time he used it on me to make me understand. The same old shillelagh, my father brought from Ireland. Yes, it's the same old shillelagh, my father brought from Ireland. And devil a man was prouder than he as he walked with it in his hand. He'd lead the band on Paddy's day, twirl it round his mitts. And devil a bit, we'd laugh at it, for dad would have a fit. Sure with the same old shillelagh, my father could lick a dozen men. As fast as they'd get up, big aura, he'd knock them down again. And many's the time he used it on me to make me understand. The same old shillelagh my father brought from higher. I hope you have enjoyed sharing a bit of St. Patrick's Day Irish cheer with me today. It's been a wonderful stroll down memory lane as I go back to my early days at Shakey's Pizza Parlor playing those Irish songs that everybody used to sing along to and listening to Bing Crosby sing the Irish favorites in my bedroom until they went around and around in my head and I could play them. This has really been a lot of fun for me and I hope you have enjoyed it as well. It would not be a St. Patrick's Day Irish celebration without playing one of the most beloved melodies of the Irish culture. Actually, it was written by an Englishman, but it is a song that wherever you go, wherever you hear it, you will think of Ireland. Oh, Danny boy.
Thank you.